there. Uh, this is the Spanish team for those who don't know. Okay, the Amicitia. 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 The Amicitia. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, let's see. of young people represents all parts of the globe, from Mexico to South Korea. They're camping together in the Sierra Norte Mountains. Veronica has traveled here from her home in Bavaria. She's here to get a taste of foreign cultures. And that starts with simple things like the sugar bowl. She explains the word sugar is written in different languages on the jar. French is sucre. English, sugar. German, Zucker. It's also written in Chinese, and of course, Zucker. The group wants to draw attention to environmental challenges facing the region. Bees are reportedly in danger of extinction. There's a water shortage. The artists also put their words into action. Veronica explains the garbage is separated into organic, plastic, and paper. Sorting the garbage and stressing environmental issues is part of the donkey carnival. The artists practice constantly, jumping rope early in the morning before the real rehearsal gets underway. the La Bamba song, but they've transformed the lyrics into an environmental appeal for protection of the bees and eagles. Some of the performers haven't quite mastered the famous Spanish hip swivel, but at least they've memorized the verses that were improvised a few days ago. We choose uh, bees and eagles because they are uh, now in danger, especially in this area. So bees, they are disappearing uh, in general in the world, and this area is an area of agriculture. The artists have all brought influences from their own countries, and those are highlighted in the performances. Anita's contribution is a traditional Russian dance. In Moscow, we call it Spanish waltz. And so it is the waltz with some variation, and I really don't know if it is a real Spanish waltz. <laughs> Then there are the masters of the Diablo, the devil stick. These aspiring artists have combined their talents to create a colorful environmental message. So we've got um, water, and then Emily, hold up the eagle. The Spanish imperial eagle is an endangered species. It's just to raise awareness of this kind of bird and how we really need to protect it. And it's just a very important part of this area. And it would be a real shame if it wasn't around anymore. So we've got the 
picture to, <laughs> to prove it. For some forms of expression, it's a learning by doing process, like singing. Veronica says the men still have to find their pitch. I've also been brought into the act with a guitar that has only four strings. Music, dance, and donkeys, an unforgettable showcase, and an unconventional campaign for environmental awareness. Ignacio organized the caravan. He calls the rugged pack animals the original mountain motorcycle. It's more attractive than a Ferrari. It's, uh, you put a donkey in the middle of, uh, of the square, and then you have the, all the people that they remember when they were young and they had a donkey that was their tool and their friend to work. And then you also have the, the grandsons and granddaughters, the children, that they want to just simply cuddle the, 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 do the donkey, uh, give him food. Some of them want to, to ride him or just to cuddle him and touch it. It's incredible, the attractive uh, energy these animals have in the whole society is, is absolutely marvelous. It's a novel form of environmental activism. Back in camp, Carol from China is helping cook lunch along with David from Italy and Fabian from France. It's real Italian pasta. I'm not good at cooking. <laughs> Carol wants to do her part to change the attitudes. I think it will be a good way to do so instead of just um, distributing leaflet or just give um, a little talk in the school, it will be a go to the people into the village and to show them we can make in a, a, a more special way that to spread our thinking, uh, spread our uh, mission and vision. Yeah, I think it's a good way. Today is the big day. The first stop of Donkey Tour 2011 is the village of Lozoya, three kilometers away. It's an important day for Jack. Once we found out which donkey wants to be the leader, and it's more comfortable going in front, then the rest will just slowly follow behind. This is what this is the plan, anyway. Somehow the donkeys play along, and the parade gets underway. Travel time to La Zoya, two hours. The performers are psyching themselves up for the big premiere. Veronica believes such shows strike a joyous chord in the Spanish soul. The crowds are thrilled and they want to participate. The enthusiasm is palpable as the troop nears La Zoya. donkeys attract a lot of attention. The villagers have gathered in the market square, curious to see the spectacle.
this is one of the most important thing of the Amicitia because it's, as the president said, it's our Ferrari because we are making every every year the donkey caravan for 20 or 25 people from all over Europe. But on the other hand, we have more things, of course. We normally are a group of lawyers that are giving uh, some help to people that have problems with the environment. Now, that's it. Okay. And uh, normally, what we do in, in the Ami City, in Spain, in Gargantilla de los Soya, in, in Sierra Norte, near Madrid, is, uh, as I told you, we are giving normally, environment, we are environmental lawyers eh? who work to defend the environment and, and give legal advice to people that need some, some advice for this and normally it's very difficult for them to, to fight with the, with, the, with the government. And then, on the other hand, we used to, we, we have now, despite the, the, the donkey caravan, we have now what we say, Ecofindes. Ecofindes is a new project what we normally, ecofindes means short work camp, work camp on the weekend. Finde means week, weekend in, in, in Spanish. People from the university and from biology that are studying in Madrid, they are coming to, to Gargantilla to make some things in rural environment in, 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 in Madrid. And they are very happy to do it because normally what we do is to take the, the, the abundant places, abundant garden from the owners, we speak with the, owner, with the owners, and we grow again all the gardens there. The people are very happy because uh, the people from the cities, they know about the rural things, and the people from the rural things, they know about very well uh, with the people from the city. All of them are young people. And normally, they are coming every weekend, and um, sometimes we help the owners, or we help um, with the bees, because we have, as, I, as one girl here told you, we have more than 100 hives to avoid the bees dying, because as you know, the bees are dying in the world. We are having problems with the bees in, even in Spain. So, let's, let's see. This is, this is um, our main um, thing now. And this is the village is plenty of abundant garden, as I told you, since population they have become too old to work or migrate to main <coughs> cities. So those people, those young people from the cities are coming every every weekend to help those people or even to grow themselves the garden. In short term, the effect that we have seen is that the participation of young people from urban areas to support the rural development. Grow healthy vegetables, and on the other hand, in long term, to involve the, ur the urban young people in rural activities, preserve rural activities in the rural world, and uh, the owners slowly getting involved with the project instead of abandoning the gardens. And I think the experience is, at the moment is really good, and the people feel very happy in both sides on both sides. And let's see, and we we have seen different. Uh, can we say different uh, situation in the in the society, and we have uh, right down here uh, facing a deep ecology using new technologies, voluntary international networking and participation in, in platform. We used to do it, and of course we used to make work camp in the whole Spain. We even we are not trying now to open it in Gran Canaria and Tenerife. I mean the Canary Islands where I am from, and. Uh, um, on the other hand, we used to work with EBS and what more. And uh, mm, always having collaboration with the Alliance uh, group in Europe. We coordinate with them to bring people from Europe to Spain and to make interchange with, with people from Spain to, uh, to Europe. And we are working normally in summer with more than 100 people in Gargantilla de los Soya in Madrid. And we have now several delegations in different points of Spain. I mean, Altea in Alicante, Canary Islands, it will be the, the next one, and um, in the south of Extremadura. Why? We have a, 
a good thing. Everybody wants to come to Spain. Everybody wants to enjoy the summer of Spain. So that means that a lot of young people want to come here to help us, mainly now that we have the prop in the rural areas, to help us. And, uh, well, and that is what we're doing at the moment. The donkey caravan, the are you ready honey? That's a work camp that we're working with the bees and the famous echo findes for people between 18 and 30, 27, 30 years old because they are from the university and they are very happy to, to work and to be volunteer with us. And they don't, don't they?